boxing out to one of the blue mark ranking one of the shots to Will Graham. And the way he stands at the time, 30 pounds, 30.5 ounces. He has an excellent record of the team for six contests, five wins. Three of those wins can buy a win. Or one man with just a single defeat. And this is the Yaragua Conocido Como El Grito Exclusivo de esta esquina. Just before we introduce the home box of this fight, is now a six rounder, not a four. And the boxing and boxing out of the red pot, where the consequent shorts and the way he's got 10 stone, 12 pounds. He has a perfect one on record, consisting of nine contests, nine wins. One of those wins coming by way of numbers. And the way he's got 10 stone, 12 pounds, five ounces, six point five ounces. Then the proposal, the undefeated Sahir is Second time, Rumble. Boom, boom, shake the room. Next contest is six threes. In the middleweight division, I'm at the blue corner for Nicky Ragula. Lester Espino. And coming from the red corner from Bolton, Zahir Iqbal. Iqbal 9 and 0, one stoppage, he's 26 years of age. Espino, 32 years of age. He's seven professional fights, five wins, one loss. Three by stoppage. The referee Tom, um, David Mulholland. Liverpool. Commentary tonight. Mike Hudson Gormley and Lee Top of Whitehead. Yeah, quite, quite an interesting matchup this one. On paper. Espino, three KOs. Two Iqbal's one. So Espino obviously can punch a little bit. Three out of five. Three KOs out of five wins. One loss. Espino's nickname, El Nitro Explosico. Good work by Iqbal. Good shot, nice right, right up there over the left. Of um, Espino. Well, like, like that nice left up. Caught the spin off a few times. I think Iqbal needs to get back Lovely on his boxing again. There by Iqbal. And again, got that left hook to body. Left down counter there by Espino. Oh, good right up to the body now by Iqbal as well. Nice action back first round here at the University of Bolton Stadium. Yes, yeah, Spino looks a little, little bit like a rabbit in headlights at the moment. Um, the look on his face, it about quality work, some nice shots. Looks quite strong, punches quite strong, even though he's only got one stoppage. Loves that uppercut inside, Iqbal. Nice right there, count off. Bell. Nice roll there by Spino. Good first round. To, I think that one goes to Rick Bell. Thank you. 
Boom. Yeehaw. Boom, boom. Shearer in round two. Schedule six threes. Blue corner, Spino. Red corner, Iqbal. Tonight's commentary on this VIP promotions in association with Elite Gym. It's Lee Top of Whitehead and Mike Action Gormley. Hello. So Espinosa's turn to uh, come forward. Beginning this beginning of this second round. Nice chat by it, Bob. I think he knows that needs to throw it a bit more often though. He's catching every time, there he goes, he's not throwing it. Must have heard me. Yeah, lovely double jab. When the fight is coming towards you, you must put that jab out as a deterrent. If not, he's just going to keep it coming. Like it's happening now with Espino. Fancies it here. He's going to push for another up by Espino. Yeah, again, it's been a prefers to work inside. That bell's a, that bell's a better fight on the outside. He needs to get back onto his game plan. Keep the fight at distance. Mm -hmm. Nice shot to body by Iqbal. You know, Espino doesn't quite buy, it, buy, him, buy him mechanically throw his hooks properly. It's just like a slap, really. You get the old body into it. I don't think it's a good place for Iqbal to be on the ropes. He's a better boxer on the outside. Nice shot there by Iqbal. Lovely uppercut again as well. Nice scoring shots there by Espino. He's coming into this... Um, fight a little bit more in his second round 32 year old written for Nicaragua he's about 26 years of age yeah again it ball on the ropes I don't it's the wrong place for him to be on the ropes don't know if he's been a slip so he's caught there Last ten in the second round. I have to get that rope, that rope uh, round to it. Um, a spin off. I think it has got to be careful, as we know. Espinosa three stop is out of five. Can't get too complacent, it well. Three. Rick on it, pal. Blue corner. Spino. Fancies the job here. It's not about you, Mike, but I've got one round each. Yeah, I was just going to say, Leon, you've got it. I've got it exactly the same. Hey, hey, pal, again, he's just backing up onto the ropes. I think he just needs to get set the centre of the ring and use his boxing skills. Yeah, jab out. Let's get a jab out. I think he's there. Uh, the plans are going out the window because of Espinosa being a little bit awkward. Yeah, but nevertheless, he should be getting a jab out like he's doing now. He shouldn't, you know, he, he's got a longer range than the Spino. He should be keeping that on the end of that jab. He's just, just yeah, wrong, wrong game plan for me. Good up a foot there by Spino. He's got a long reach, he's got every advantage, and he's just he's just staying in too close for the Spino, giving the Spino every opportunity to land his shots. Yeah, and he now fancies the job. You have to bite down the jump, jump shield and get on with this. This is score some points. It's better, I need to get that job a little bit longer, it though, a little bit longer the jab. <laughs> and again, backing up to the ropes. The spin is scoring again. We're going to find out what um, Iqbal's made of. 
Yeah, so it's a sixth round fight. Not even halfway yet. Nice left up there by Zahir Iqbal. In his hometown of Bolton. Nevertheless, Esp Espinoki's moving forward. Espino, sorry. Yeah, it's been all, only effective when Iqbal backs up onto those ropes again. Uh, it's been on having a bit of a break. So now he catches a nice backhand over the top. Goes forward again. You know, Zahir has got really knocking back and keeping him off. In my opinion, it's another round to Espino. He really fancy his job. He's flying off for this end of this third round. Yeah, he's doing the more work, Espino. He could be nicking these rounds. Here at the University of Bolton Stadium in Bolton, Lancashire. Is that here, Bowles hometown? And in in our opinion, I think he's got to do a little bit more to win this fight. Leicester Espino was not ready. Oh, the shots by Espino. Not careful. He's under pressure. This could be a test of his cannons on it's been old, definitely fancy the stoppage here. And if Zahir Bell's not careful, he's gonna get caught again. Yeah, can it? Espino, as we say, three stoppages out of five. Espino's having a bit of a rest there, he exerted himself a little bit too much. It Bell's not doing much. Yeah, now it's down to it Bell to press the fight now. He, he, I think he needs to start pushing on second half of the fight. He needs to kind of impose himself a little bit more. Yeah, Espino fancies it. Second too many for me, Bell. Test of his character now. He really has to dig deep. I mean, there's another side of that as well, obviously. If Bell's working it, sorry, if Espino's working and Bell's not working, then the referee's got to keep his eye on the fight. The referee, Mr Mulholland, definitely keeping his eye on Bell here. Espino now growing into it. I think he feels like he's taking this fight over. I think for some reason it bows. Not, he's not working, I don't know what's going on. He just needs to get to the centre ring, get back on his jab. So effective with his jab. He backs up onto the ropes and he hasn't got that distance between him and his boner. He looks fatigued, he's not throwing anything at all. Just a knife throws the left up. Again, it's been all more effective on the ropes. Great shot again by Spino. Yeah, again, the referee's having a close look there. He really seems to be hit at the bell, but he isn't doing much to impress the referee or to to give any good signs to the referee. I see it differently, Mike. I think Tespino's actually hitting him. Getting tired of the round of fatigue there. That's another round to Espino. Yeah, I think that's he's run away with this one. In our opinion, that's 3 1. Would you agree, Mike? I certainly would.
seconds out. No point. Yeehaw! Boom, boom, Sharon. Penultimate round of this six rounder. Blue corner, Spino. Red corner, Iqbal. Self lead top of fight, the Mike Catson Gormley commentating. We might have a little bit of um, an upset here. The 32 year old Nicky Ragland has thrown it right on Zahi Iqbal's toes. It's a lot better by Iqbal, like he's using his jab now. So that's what it there you go. He just needs to use that jab. Jab and move, jab and move. And then work his combinations behind that jab. As soon as he backs up onto the ropes, the Spino just lets go. And Spino's more effective. And here we go again, same scenario. There we go. I think he's got a great job, Iqbal. He's just not, he's just not using it. He's not being effective with it. He doesn't use it. He's not got the fitness to use it. He's to be poking it out, get his long levers, and keeping El Negrito explosivo away. Referee having a good look here. Yeah, Spino just getting more confident as the fight goes on. He's up in his game each round. I think, you know, when you're in there, you can probably almost sense there's nothing coming back. In the hometown fighter, Saz with the white, green shorts on. He's looking, looking tired at the He just looks like he, um, he's running out of ideas, running out of energy. Looks a bit despairing. Probably shot again by Spino over the top. Val's got to be careful, legs looking a little bit tired. Quite strange with him, Espino. He, he starts off hitting the arms. And on the body, it's the arms. Look, he's hitting the arms all the time. Never really seen that anyone aiming for the arms before. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's doing that. Hey, weaker in the arms. So it's bad cat, it's bad cat throw. A lot of his shots are hitting on, on Iqbal's left arm. Can you see that, mate? Look, you guys can see that all yeah, on the TV. Actually, yeah, just touching him with that right hand then. Just right hand then to his left arm. Oh, every time up on the arms, look. And now finishes back to the head. Oh, the referee's, referee's having a close look. He jumps in. And, and that is the correct decision, I think. Yeah, not really in the argument there for Nick Bell. Concerning look on his face, but you can't really argue with that one. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 31 seconds of round number five, the referee has stopped the contest in his opinion, so here Iqbal was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner from uh, Nicaragua, Lester Espino. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.